All right, so we talk about some broken steam ciphers. So we are going to talk about something that is not broken, salsa and its variant cha cha. So it was designed by DJ Bernstein in 2005, submitted to eSteam and became one of the finalists as the name with the name salsa. But then it was modified in 2008 and named cha cha. So uh, actually, there are many variants of the cipher uh, with many uh, Latin dance names. Google selected cha cha. 20 and uh, a message authentication code, which is actually a polynomial named poly1305. Uh, and combining Churchill with this polynomial allows you to have an authenticated encryption algorithm. And Google wanted to replace RC4 in its TLS implementation since nobody were using RC4 anymore. OpenSSH also adopted these two algorithms. Uh, Church also used in random number generators in many operating systems like FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, and DragonflyBSD. Linux kernel also uses Church at event to generate data for the non-blocking of this device, your random device, since version 4.8. IETF published a reference implementation for modified Church at event in RFC 7539. I say modified because in one version, they use IV, in other version, they use NOS and so on, so, but almost identical implementations. So use of Church at event in IKE and IPsec had been proposed for standardization in this RFC, this is internet key exchange. Using TLS had been proposed for standardization in this RFC, and Church is also used in VPN protocols and so on, but of course, Nowadays, it is included in TLS 1.3. So in TLS 1.3, you can either use AES or Chacha for encryption. Okay, you have two symmetric encryption algorithms. Again, in the past, we have AES and RC4 in version 1.0. But then we said that RC4 is not secure. So nobody were using it RC4. So we remain with AES. Now we have AES and Chacha. So... Let's look at how this works. Of course, one question might be asked if we have AES and it is already nice, why are we using Chacha, right? So in our uh, desktop PCs and laptops, we have Intel or AMD CPUs. And since 2010, they come with AES instruction set. So AES encryption is almost free on all of these devices because we have hardware level AES encryption. So Chacha cannot beat AES in these platforms because you have software implementation for Chacha. So you might think that then why Google made this adoption? They did it because ARM processors do not come with Intel, sorry, AES instruction set, right? So Chacha can perform better in some uh, CPUs. So in tablets or uh, in Androids, if you use Chrome, most probably you are using Chacha for encryption to communicate with Google servers. So this way you actually get more battery because AES would uh, consume more battery. So this is the main idea. All right, so let me explain both Chacha and Salsa, by the way. So initial state is represented as 16 32-bit words. As you can see, the initial state is really large compared to A51. So it is not as simple as 64 bits. We have 16 times 32 bits here. So it is represented as in the case of AES, like four by four matrix. So we have constant values, the key positions and nodes here. Again, some implementations use nodes here too. Odd runs take columns as input. Okay, because every round will have like four value input. So in odd rounds, you will take columns, but in even rounds, when you work with salsa, you take rows. But if you implement Chacha, you will take diagonals like this. Okay, so this is actually the main difference between salsa and Chacha. Input of the first round is exhorted with the output obtained after 20 rounds and provided as key state. So you perform this 20 rounds. So let me show you a quarter round. So this is actually takes as, let's look at this example, assume that we are in the old round. So we take this column, four values and put them here. 
and then perform these operations. As you can see, we have XOR, modular addition, uh, left cyclic rot shifts or rotations. So after one round, these four values are modified and written back here. But in a single round, we do this in parallel. So actually, this is your single round. So in the first round, you put column values here. So you have four columns. In the second round, now it is even round. So if you are using Chacha, you will get diagonals here. So this way you combine rows and columns this way in every round. Okay, so you run this uh, 12 rounds. This is why we call it Chacha 12. 